Okay, let's talk about bubble sorting algorithm. We're gonna talk about uh, the most popular uh, student algorithm for sorting. Uh, so the idea behind this kind of uh, bubble sort or any sort is to change the some specific array of numbers in a sorted way. So for example, if you have this kind of numbers, um, like I'm typing here, you have to sort it in the way ascending or descending. Let's talk about ascending in this specific way, right? So one is the smallest one, then it's seven, eight, eight, nine, 23, right? Um, did I miss anything? Yeah, I might miss anything, but this is the idea, right? So from this format to this format. So you have to think about the right way of doing that. So the most efficient, fast way of doing that um, could, is, is definitely not the, not the bubble sort. And there are, way, there are other algorithms in order to do the better performance with the sorting, but the bubble one is, the, is one of the uh, fastest uh, you know, for understanding algorithms. So let's take a look on the some pictures and we'll see how does it work? So first of all, this is the example, 497, uh, 623. So instead of the one that we have in, in this example, we have 497, 623. And as a result, we should have this one, 234, 679. So now there are two basically steps for vi visualization of what actually is gonna happen. So we're gonna start from the end of the array and we're gonna start uh, switching the elements. So we're gonna take a look who is smaller. So two, three, so we're gonna start from the first one, three. Is the three smaller than two? No, then we don't need to swap. Okay, if the two is smaller than six, yes, it's smaller, then we need to swap, right? If the two is smaller than seven, yes, so we need to swap. If the two is smaller than nine, we need to swap. If the two is smaller than four, we need to swap. So eventually it's bubble up from the bottom to the top, right? So this number two is, is going, to, going to get the first place here, right? Then we're going to take uh, a look and find the smallest, the second smallest number, right? And how are we going to do that? We basically, basically going to start looking on the smaller array, right? We, we don't want to take a look on the whole um, six, I think six total six. We're going to now take a look only on five elements from the uh, bottom till the, you know, the first element. We don't take, we don't care about the zero element anymore because it's already, we know the smallest one. So from this one, we're going to start from the bottom. Three is smaller than six. Yes. Six smaller than, uh, three is smaller than six. Yes. Then we swap. If it, it's not, if it, for some reason we have a number bigger than six, we don't swap, but we, it's smaller than we swap, swap, swap. And eventually we got this three at the top. Then the same happening here, right? So we don't swap here. We don't swap here. We don't swap here because four is a, is the smallest. Then from this three, what is the smallest? Six. So we swap, swap, right? It's here. And eventually we have, um, we have everything swapped, everything sorted. That's a bubble sorting, right? And in Java, that's how it looks. In order to implement, you have to make this. Um, if you have six elements, you have to make six, well, six iteration. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Six in total. And then you need to have internal loop. And this is tricky because you have the, the amount of exit from this loop has to be um, connected to the first loop. So it shouldn't be so j j which is the order which is the loop um identifier you can say it has to be bigger than i so that we don't take this numbers we don't take these two numbers we don't take three these numbers we don't take four these numbers while we're doing that comparison in order to swap so that's that's the trick right and then if if the one that is uh, that is the last one is uh, smaller than the the previous bit before the last one then we're doing that swap. There are three lines of code that are doing that tricky uh, step, the swap, right? And then eventually you can check with your Java and see how it works. You get basically need to create two files, two classes, a bubble sorter and um, bubble sorter test. And 
that's kind of easy you can implement that and